Hi, everybody. It is 522, May 22, 2019, Biological Effect of Millimeter Waves, 1977, a published paper, Russian, translated into English. I'm going to read some of it. Uh, it's very important. I hope that you circulate it. And Yes, I apologize because it might be irritating that I have difficulty pronouncing names, words. Um, well, yeah, I do. And I'm really struggling with it lately, and I'm not quite sure what is going on with my speech, but um, it, it doesn't stop me. Those who, you know, want to leave shitty comments, go ahead. I don't give a shit. You know, do what you want be, you know, display who you really are in the comment section um, proudly. Go ahead. But um, th this information is just too important. Um, so I do want to thank all of you for your patience and your kindness um, that is also, you know, displayed in the comment section. That too shows who you are. So, um, Remember, everything that we do, everything that we say, uh, it's communication to the world of who we are as human beings. All right, biological effects of millimeter waves, 1977. Morphological, functional, and biochemical studies conducted in humans and animals revealed that millimeter waves caused changes in the body manifested in structural alterations in the skin and internal organs, qualitative and quantitative changes of the blood and bone marrow composition, and changes of the conditioned reflex activity, tissue respiration, activity of enzymes participating in the processes of tissue respirations, respiration, and nucleic um, meta metabolism. The degree of unfavorable effect of millimeter waves depends on the duration of the radiation and individual characteristics of the organism. Very important, and I have stressed this in many of my videos. So you have two people who live in a home, and that home is Wi-Fi and smart metered, and you got all of those uh, uh, Wi-Fi devices operating. One person is experiencing symptoms related to the frequencies. The other person's not. So the other person is thinking that the person who is symptomatic is just crazy. They're hypochondriacs. Uh, get over it. Um, and a lot of people who live together, one person wants to get rid of the Wi-Fi. The other person says, I'm not getting rid of it. Um, and then that causes a fight because that person is not experiencing symptoms or the symptoms that they do have they are not um, relating it to the Wi-Fi so all of this this whole new world of ours has caused and is causing an awful lot of problems the organism the individuals uh, fat content the size of the individual many factors body factors, the individual's characteristic, char characteristics have a lot to do with whether one person is symptomatic and the other one not. Unfortunately, the one who's not, eventually they go over the edge because the duration of exposure, hmm, well, it pushes everybody over the edge. So, um, you might want to point out to that person in your home that doesn't want to get rid of their devices, the Wi-Fi, uh, they don't want to do anything about the smart meter, they just think that you're crazy, show them. You know, I also posted videos on radar studies that say the same thing. So it's not just, it, it's all anthropogenic uh, electromagnetic uh, frequencies, meaning these induced frequencies from man, not the natural frequencies coming from Earth, 
the frequencies coming from cell towers, cell phones, twin towers, Wi-Fi, smart meters, all of the devices, appliances, your refrigerator, your TV, your computer screens, all right, all of those frequencies, um, every one of them, all of them have biological effects. And Doppler radar operates in the millimeter range. So when we see, and I've shown, and I guess I'll have to pull it up right now, all of these uh, blue areas that are flickering and pulsing, that's our Doppler radar. And it is now 4.51 p.m. on the East Coast. As you can see, well, the Doppler radar is operating, but not as powerfully as it operates at night. And it's operating in the millimeter range on the electromagnetic spectrum. So, um, let's get back to effects of millimeter wave. The you ubiquitous propagation of radio waves, radio broadcasting, and television is contributing to the appearance of new physical factor electromagnetic waves of the radio frequency range. In recent years, it has been established that radio waves of different ranges have an unfavorable influence on the organism. And the organism, they're not just talking about, oh, let's say, bacteria. They're talking about all life. We are an organism, the four-legged, an organism, the tree, an organism. So they're talking about all life. And the TV, the electromagnetic frequencies already uh, changing the rhythm of, the natural rhythm of Earth was happening long before our Wi-Fi world. Even just the radio broadcasting, the television, that created more uh, man-induced frequencies. Think about what we are living now. So then it was an unfavorable effect. Guess what? The unfavorable has multiplied and multiplied and multiplied. This is the world that we are living now. And I do want to point out that for those who struggle, and then you have to face all of those in your life who think that you're crazy and think that you're a hypochondriac, and, well, you need psychiatric attention because, you know, you're just making this stuff up. You're not. You're not. And uh, people have died already. And there are more and more. The numbers are increasing of people falling uh, to these frequencies where they cannot function. They are rendered disabled. And their life falls into nightmare mode that they can't get out of. And people have to begin to understand that. Just because you're asymptomatic doesn't mean that you get to deny, deny the facts and evidence that our life has changed because of these frequencies. And it do, just because you're asymptomatic doesn't give you the right to then uh, keep people in an environment that is destroying them. So when you, you know, when I think that people can just use an Ethernet cable to ground their internet connection, but no, they have to keep Wi-Fi. Um, that's saying something about the relationship. If they're if they're forcing somebody to live in an environment where they can literally feel themselves, um, their health. Their overall well-being, their emotions, their uh, cognition, everything declining. Well, yes, that says an awful lot about that relationship. Um, 
So the effect of radio waves leads to change leads to changes of the functions of the nervous, cardiovascular, and other systems of the organism. However, in the literature, there is almost no information about the biological effect of radio frequency of the millimeter range, although that range is widely used in technology, and that was back in the 70s. Hmm, okay. I have read other papers where they're saying widely used millimeter. I, I believe the, the, this... Yeah, suddenly we get to know 5G, we're going to 5G, the millimeter wave, and then we have all these people researching, including myself, the millimeter and the biological effects and, and what really is the purpose. They've had Doppler radar emitting in the millimeter wave, and uh, which we've all been affected by. But I've read papers, and the millimeter wave, they say it's already, you know, in these um, devices, in uh, widely used in technology. So I think the millimeter wave has been around for a while. We just haven't known that. Uh, but unfortunately, this, uh, the 5G infrastructure, which is very extensive, um, now talk about duration. You want to talk about duration of the millimeter wave? 24-7, 24-7, no let up, you can't escape. That's what's coming. So we might already have been experiencing the millimeter wave not knowing it. 5G, now we know it, but that's the small cell infrastructure, the concentration of these millimeter waves all over the place. Uh, that's for the Internet of Things to connect everything, and 5G allows for very fast processing of data. Uh, that's going to kill an awful lot of people, and it's going to render disabled an awful lot of people. So, what are the uh, effects? And I'm going to read some of this in detail. Uh, I apologize for mispronouncing some of these uh, medical terms or uh, biological um, terms, but, well, just have to do the best I can. Study of the morphological, functional, and biochemical indicators which play an essential role in the formation of reactions of the organism disclosed various disorders in the experimental animals uh, and disorders of the blood the energy of millimeter waves absorbed primarily and mainly by the skin, the skin of irradiated animals, deformation of the receptor apparatus and well-expressed changes of a reactive character words are absorbed, observed, sorry, um, in the skin layer, properly speaking, appeared bunches of nerve fibers with um, high, hyper hypertrophy, hypertrophy, Jesus, what is happening with me? I don't know. Well, forget about it, but of a portion of the fiber and sections with um, demyelinization, demyelinization. Yeah, something's really happening. All right, the dermis among the collagen fibers were small trunks of various thickness and the neural conductors of which were fragmented in separate cases, and phenomena of demyelinization were absorbed, observed in the surface layers. All right, look, years ago, I would have, I would have stopped the video. I would have started again. I'm not doing that. Why? Because I don't want, you know, I don't want the criticism, and I don't want the sympathy. I want you to get that something is happening, and I do believe that it is frequency related. I'll look at words now that I know uh, I should be able to pronounce without even thinking. I look at that and suddenly it's like it goes blank in my head. I'm not kidding. Um, the cognitive effects of these frequencies are wide, varied from individual to individual. 
but they're very real and they're not good. Okay, so hypertrophy of a portion of the fiber um, in the dermis among the collagen fibers were small trunks of various thickness and neural conductors of which were fragmented in separate cases. This is not good guys. This is very this is an important document, please circulate it. Structures of tissue of the myocardium, liver, kidneys, and spleen. Disorders of the hemodynamics, um, which is essentially the, the dynamic of blood flow, were established. With disruption of the permeability of the vascular membranes, the appearance of micronecrosis, which is uh, cell or tissue death and subsequent tissue dystrophy. Qualitative and quantitative shifts were revealed in the um, erythrocyte, erythrocytic and look, <laughs> here is the blank in my head, leukocytic composition of blood of irradiated animals indicating suppression of the hemopoietic function of the bone marrow and lymphatic system. Noted in the composition of the red blood was eosinophilia, neutrophilia, and lymphopenia, all of which um, well, the eosinophilia, those, it's the disease fighting of uh, white blood cells. Neutrophilia, white blood cells fighting bacteria. Uh, lymphopenia. Um, all of this has to do with hormones, with blood. And it's changing. It is changing our bio, bio, biology. It's changing our biological functions. And lowering of the hemoglobin level and reduction of the number of um, erythrocytes and increase of the number of erythro elastic cells and decrease of cells of the leukoblastic series. Um, think about in bone marrow, think about um, leukemia. God, the re as a result of investigations with millimeter waves, disorders of condition reflex activity have been established. Weakening of the stimulatory process, uh, considered su suppression of the function of the central nervous system. Wow. All right. So, uh, look at all of these changes from the millimeter wave. And, well, even when, you know, I detail it, I think a few get the significance of what's happening here. I don't think a lot of people really take in the full, um, the full canopy of disorders that can, well, you change one thing in a natural system. You change the natural system. Look at what's happening with the weather. You think they uh, influencing the jet stream with electromagnetic frequencies doesn't change and alter the whole system? It does. So um, here, reduction of the size of the latent period in response to different conditioned stimuli. Light, noise, pain, and disinhibition of differentiation reactions. Disorders of the stimulatory and inhibitory processes displayed in animals during the repeated effects of millimeter radio waves it can be considered su suppression of the function of the central nervous system, although the developed inhibition can be linked 
with protective compensatory reaction of the organism in response to irradiation. So your body is fighting. Your body is fighting the irradiation that is, well, coming right through your skin into your body and your biological system operating as it, uh, um, as it has will try to fight against these man-induced changes and eventually, you know, duration of the frequencies will win out. Uh, the effect of millimeter radio waves, there was a variation of the content and ratio of um, catecholamines, not good, neurotransmitters, which include dopamine, um, include adrenaline. In the blood, the concentration increased. In the hypothalamus, the adrenaline content increased, and the noro nor adrenaline level dropped. In the cerebral cortex, there was a slight redistribution of catecholamines. In the adrenal glands, the adrenal content doubled and the nor, nor adrenaline uh, level dropped by 11% in comparison with that in unirradiated animals. The adrenaline concentration in the adrenal glands remained elevated by 60% 10 days after the irradiation ceased. Think about adrenal fatigue that many, many of us are now experiencing. Uh, results indicated well-expressed changes of metabolism of catecholamines under the influence of millimeter waves, both in the hormonal and in the sympathetic uh, components of the sympathetic adrenal system and also reflects changes of the functional activity of its hormonal and mediator components. The irradiation of animals by millimeter waves caused changes of the processes of oxidative phosphorylation, phosphorylation in, in the liver, kidneys, heart, and brain of the animals, um, phosphorylate uh, has to do with the process of altering proteins. The irradiation inhibited the oxygen consumption rate by the mitochondria of these organs in the effective phosphorylating, phosphorylating decreased by 64%. The values of the respiratory controls decreased by 26 and 28% respectively, and the changes were less expressed in the heart and brain. Um, influence of millimeter waves on the state of nucleate exchange showed that in the liver, spleen, kidneys, lungs, and heart, there was a reduction of the content of nucleate acids presented data testify to substantial change, changes in the protein metabolism which occurred under the influence of multiple irradiation of animals by millimeter radio waves. Evidently the reduction of the general energy level occurring in the organism under the influence of millimeter radio waves had an effect on the formation of macro herbs and caused a suppression of all functions of the organism, including suppression of synthetic processes, but especially of nucleoprotein metabolism, which is very energy consuming. Thus, the conducted investigations indicate high biological activity and an unfavorable influence of millimeter radio waves on the organism. The expression, the expression expressness of the biological, I can't read that word, um, biologic, biologic, biological reactions increase with increase of the period of irradiation and depend on individual characteristics of the organism. Look, you know what? 
Um, I understand that. Well, years ago, I would have been hesitant to share this video with anyone of my social network because they were arrogant um, people who believed that they were brilliant and, well, everybody else wasn't. And you come across, and this, look, I had the same arrogance, so I understand how they think and operate. And you listen to somebody and they can't pronounce certain words and you think that they're stupid um, or, you know, they haven't done the requisite amount of research and they haven't really, you know, um, prepared well the video. Uh, that, yeah, well, there's an awful lot that influences how one perceives and thinks about others and information. Uh, when you don't understand uh, the influences in your own brain, then somebody might even just hear me and disregard, disregard listening. I'm not going to listen to this. She can't talk. All right. Yeah, sometimes I just want to say, I'm a Smith College graduate. I went to law school. I practiced law. I had a stroke. And yes, I am someone who's sensitive to the frequencies and having done a tremendous amount of our research, I understand the effects of these frequencies. And one of the effects is uh, difficulty in speech. That's one effect. And other effects are memory problems and the sudden uh, blitzing of your brain when you're looking at a word that you, you know, it, it's been on your radar, it, it, you just say it, you know what it means, you begin to blitz out. Your brain literally begins to blitz out. So when you look at all of the effects of the blood and um, neurotransmitters, then well, a healthy individual would recognize, okay, uh, the information that is being communicated in this video, well, it corresponds with the reality that is being experienced with this individual and the symptoms that they are um, revealing. But most people are not. So that's why I say I link everything below so that you don't have to circulate my videos and you can circulate the information and circulate it to someone else that can do a better job. My ego is not involved here. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I will link below to this to this paper. Stay safe, everybody.